Heart one is located in the center of the axilla. For our best location, we put the arm up and over and in the very center, depression. And our needling goes in this direction, more upward at an angle towards GB21 on the top of the shoulder. In the front, you have the pectoralis major, uh, helping to create that depression. In the back, we have latissimus dorsi and teres major. And one way to locate it is to find the muscle here and just follow it up into that depression. Now don't push too hard, it will be uncomfortable, but this much is not gonna be painful. And we needle in that direction, insert the needle, and you can bring the arm back down during treatment if you want to. Heart two is on the inside of the arm. The distance, so we're measuring from the axillary fold to the cubital fold. Cubital fold here, but we take the measurement like this, from here to here. And it's nine sun, so I'm gonna put my zero here, find nine, and stretch nine up to here. And I want three sun proximal to the cubital fold, which is right there and in between the two muscles. So here's the triceps, brachii, and then there's brachialis and biceps on the front, and I can palpate that there's a space between the two. So I locate that three sun proximal and in between those two muscles. So me... Heart three is located at the medial end of the cubital crease with the elbow fully flexed. So if we take it all the way like this, uh, this is the cubital crease here. And if we flex it all the way, the elbow, then we're gonna be at the medial end of that. Something to note, when the arm is in this position, notice that heart three is over here. Small intestine, we haven't learned it yet, but it goes along here and goes between the olecranon process and the medial epicondyle here. So this is small intestine eight, heart three, and you'll learn in the future, pericardium three here. So it's important to get this measurement right so that you can have that clear going forward. Pericardium three, heart three, small intestine eight. Okay, now we're gonna locate heart four heart five, heart six, and heart seven. They're all very close together down here at the wrist. So heart three is up here. And then from the cubital fold to the wrist crease, cubital crease to wrist crease is 12 sun. And what we can do is we're gonna find the pisiform bone right here. Palpable bone, uh, right where the wrist is coming up to the hand. It's right here on the body model. And I'm gonna look for the main wrist crease, which crosses right there at the pisiform. And it's just medial to that. That's heart seven. We wanna find heart four. So from that spot, we put our zero. And we wanna measure 12 sun up. And one and a half proximal puts me right here and I wanna be inside the tendon. There's a palpable tendon out here. I wanna be medial to that. And then I can either measure them all or I can put the other two equidistance in between those, because this is heart four, then we need five, six, and seven. So if I wanna measure, I've gotta stretch my sunometer. This one. one here. One here. Heart four, five, six, seven, at the wrist.
Notice there's a big gap from three to four. Okay. Okay, can you make a soft fist? So we have a make a fist, and where the pinky lands is gonna be heart eight, okay? Now I'm expecting it to land between certain body structures. So one is, if I palpate the phalange coming up and then the metacarpal right here, I get that there's a bone here. And the next one too, so the fifth metacarpal and the fourth metacarpal right here. And then the lines on the hand, there's a line that goes across here. So I'm just gonna draw that as the top of the box. And then there's a line coming along here, right there. And heart eight should fall right in there if they don't make too tight of a fist or too loose of a fist. So we want them to close up like that. Nothing real tight like this, nothing loose and floppy, more like that. Okay, so can you go ahead and just, yep, and hers lands way down here at the bottom of it. So I can go where the pinky is, or I can needle within this box, try to center it. Either one is fine. I'm just gonna go where her pinky went, which is right on the edge of that box. So that's heart eight. And then heart nine, that's the pathway of the heart meridian. So can you turn your hand over? And that's heart nine. 